Hi, everybody. Eventually, say hi. 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 Good girl. So, me and the girls are here. We want to talk about a diaper bag. Right, Alicia? Now, of course, my girls are bigger. They're in panties now. They're not in diapers or pull-ups or anything anymore. So, Alicia's four. And Evangeline is how old? Two. Two, yes. But I did stage our diaper bag here just so I could walk through this because there were certain essentials that we had in our diaper bag and there's certain things that we wished we had had in our diaper bag and of course we were in public it's too late so we ended up using this bag nation diaper bag because i did not like the over the shoulder bag and this one had lots of pockets on the sides and in the front and inside and on the bottom it even had this little part you could pull out look alicia you can pull this out and you had a little changing table for the baby or well, this is actually part of it too. So it's a changing table and like a makeshift bed. So you could even pull this out. Look at there. Now put the little cushion inside. There you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. Push that in there. And look, you got a little bed for the baby or a changing table if you want to change your baby's diaper and you're somewhere where it's dirty. Yeah. Is that cute? We go back. Is that cute? Oh, see, now you can even take a nap in there. Get all curled up. Where's your place? Oh, my goodness. We may not get anything else done on this video with these two wanting to play in this. Okay, hang on, Evangeline. Watch. Alicia, hop up. Evangeline, hop out. Come here. Here. Good job. Oh, my gosh. They, they're they hopping for real. Okay, good. Here. Now, do we share? Yeah. Are we going to get moody? No. Okay, let's see if that's actually true. I have a feeling this is a meltdown that will soon happen, and I will get it on video. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, so we did not actually keep this over the shoulder bag. It just made my life. It felt like it was very difficult. <laughs> now, Alicia, when you were a baby, yeah. did you like to play with toys? Yeah. Yes, you do, even now. So, mommy in her front little pack here, I had squishy toys for you as a baby and little teething toys of Angeline. See, that was for you too. <laughs> And uh, depending on how old our babies were, they would either have the bottles and such, of course. But as they got older, we would travel with a sippy cup. It's empty, baby. It's empty. You want to see? We had little teething toys so they could chew on it. And then we would carry... Let me see what else does mommy have in here. Oh, this is one of y'all's favorite books when y'all were little. Remember that book release? Yeah. Good. They love this Babies Love Colors book. And so you would actually open it up and then you would say, I like red, red wagon, and these pages would pull down. So when they were tiny little things, they just love trying to grab those inside pages to pull them down or like this one where you open it up. And they just loved this little book. And I could just entertain them for next to forever. It seemed like if we were out and about somewhere and they were sitting in my lap and they would just look at the colors and flip the pages. Right, Evangeline? Yeah, it's empty. That one is empty right now. The sippy cup is just for an example for everybody so we can show them our diaper bag. So now what I would also have, let me see, what else do we have in here? Oh, more little toys. So little toys that make noises, little animals. They again love this. There was a blue ball. Oh, here's your little Anna toy, Evangeline. Look. Yay. Yeah, there's your Anna toy. And then, so I had little toys and goodies up in the front. They're just easily accessible. So if I was in the passenger seat up front or in the driver's seat even, oh, that, you should be doing that when you're driving. Grab something, ha hand them a toy. In this pocket, and I know they hear it, we would have quarters and change. So if we were at the mall and you guys wanted to ride in the little spaceship, or on the little horsey, we had a couple coins in there for us so we could have some fun. And then on this little zipper, I would have antibacterial so we can clean our hands. Right? Do we want dirty hands? No. No. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? You put your finger in your mouth, you get sick. Yeah, if you put your fingers in your mouth, you could get sick if they're dirty. So we'd have our little antibacterial. <laughs> And then usually, again, I would actually have some little rubber bands and things for the girls as they got older and got more hair. You open the cup! Oh my goodness, you're gonna have to turn it if you're gonna turn. You're gonna close it. Do you remember how to turn it? <laughs> okay. So then, in my upper flap here for this Bag Nation diaper bag. Oh, thank you, Alicia. I would have tissues for. 
sugary noses. Oh. Right? <gasps> Saline. Yes, spray for your noses in case y'all were dry or had a little cold. And then what else we got in there, Alicia? Lotion. We had some little bottles of lotion in case they had some dry skin. And then what else have we got in here, Alicia? So let's talk about the side pockets. What are those, Alicia? Baby wipes. baby wipes yeah so this was really great on the bag so we got these baby wipes that had the little cover on the top so you just pop them open pull out a wipe shut it you're ready to go so little messes if you're out eating somewhere and you want to wipe down the counters or the tables or wipe down the dirty booties for the babies really easy to just put them in there They're very accessible and guess what's in here alicia and evangeline Yes, this is the side pocket next to the wipes where we would put our baby diapers or pull-ups over time. And this was just a very convenient place. Now, again, depending on how often or how long you're going to be out, you would pack that so jam-packed full of diapers and pull-ups so you never wanted to run out. And, yes, we usually had many, many more than we actually needed. But I just never wanted to be out in public and not have something I needed. Right, Avicia? Now, guess what's on the other side? Do you know what's in these pockets? No. Do you know what's in there? Mm-mm. No? Evangeline, do you know what's in there? Yeah. What's in this side? I don't know. I have a feeling there are snacks in here. <gasps> snacks! <laughs> Applesauce! <laughs> crackers! <laughs> gummies! <laughs> and again, this is not meant to be a meal, right, for any children. <laughs> this was just snacks that we would have on hand if we were going to be out an hour. So maybe running a little late for lunch or a little late for dinner or something just so we'd have a little snack and again this is for when they got older obviously this is not infant snacks for the infants age they would have the little rice cereal snacks and little things that they would have so it was again very convenient space right here to keep our little snacks on hand and i would make sure that we would unload the snacks reload to make sure nothing was going to be expiring in there no perishables or anything so then in here Look at that. It's a little insulated pouch. So if I needed to have some cold milk, if I needed to have cold milk or something else, then we would have it in the insulated pouch and it would keep it nice and cold or even some warm things if you wanted to put warm things. And we did use that. Now, guess what, girls? What's in the big bag? Do you know what's in the big bag? More stuff! So inside the big bag here again this is our bag nation diaper bag that we ended up using we have this mat now Alicia what's this mat for changing diapers. for changing diapers so we it came with a little insert in there where you can pull it out put it on the changing table in public places now something I always kept as well are these antibacterial wipes now Alicia why would I use antibacterial wipes no, no, your booty. Uh, this would clean the changing table so I wasn't putting you on something dirty and then putting out that little black mat on something dirty. Right, Evangeline? Do we clean it? No, you want more milk? We would clean it. So I always had my little antibacterial wipes. I would use this to wipe the changing tables, wipe the countertops or whatever I needed just to make sure, again, I wasn't trying to expose them to anything that I didn't need to. And then I would have the little changing no. pad. Alisa, give me the changing pad back, please, baby. And then we would have the changing pad to change our baby's diapers. And then, mommies and daddies, something we found out we could use was this. Now, this was something we actually got at Walmart for $3 and change. It's meant to be an over-the-door hook. Now, you could use it in bathrooms for your robes and everything, but I started carrying this in my diaper bag because I found out when we were in public places, girlies, sometimes it was so crazy trying to manage the bag and there's no room on those changing tables for the baby. There's no room. So the changing, the bag would sometimes be on the floor and I don't want it on a bathroom floor in public. I don't know what's on that floor. So this came in handy when the stall door or there was a hook nearby where I could hook this on the stall door in the bathroom and then I could actually put the bag on the hook. Now, 
it wasn't always the case, moms and dads. I couldn't always use this. It wasn't, the changing table sometimes would be in the open space nearby and there was nothing around to hang it on. So I actually wonder, these com these com compound hooks, command hooks, I think they're called command hooks. You just have the little stickies you put on behind it and you just throw it on the wall. I wonder if that would have worked for us if the hook wouldn't. So if anyone ever wants to try that, get some of those command hooks, throw them up there on the wall away, not on top of your baby, right? Not on top of the changing table, maybe off to the side. And I wonder if that would actually work. I may try that out and come back here and do an update to my video. So now inside our diaper bag, girlies, guess what we had? Now, again, these are just dishcloths, but we had burp cloths for y'all. Yes, because sometimes you make a big mess. We had changes of clothes, like onesies and stuff, because sometimes we had leak. Never travel without plastic bags. So if there's a leak, someone gets dirty clothes and needs a change of clothes, then you put the dirty clothes in what? The paper, the plastic bag, Evangeline. Dirty clothes go in there. Now, mommies and daddies, Something we did not do, and as you can see here, I have even extra pull-ups, because there's never enough pull-ups. And then there's inside bags. We can't, inside bag, inside the bag. Here we go. You can't see that. Let me get it. Let me see if I can open it. So we got our pull-ups, changes of clothes, and then in here you can see you have pockets for what I have is a bottle of water. And I have my bottle of water, not so much for my own hydration, but in case my daughters were on formula, baby formula, Alicia. So then I would mix in the water in their bottle of baby formula. And we love these Dr. Brown's bottles. These are the ones we use. You can see Evangeline's name is on it. Evangeline, your name is on that because that's what you would take to daycare. Mine. That's what you would take to daycare, beautiful. So then, what else have we got in here? Now, mommies and daddies, something I recommend, probably not in your diaper bag, but mommies and daddies should always keep a change of shirts as well. Throw it in a plastic bag, throw it in your car so you have it on you. Because guess who threw up all over me one time at a restaurant? Evangeline, you did. You threw up all over mommy in a restaurant and it was a mess. And did mommy have a change of clothes? Nope. Nope. Did Evangeline have a change of clothes? Nope. Yes. Yes. Evangeline did. Mommy didn't. So was mommy dirty? Yes. It was terrible. Oh my gosh. I got her all cleaned up, got her all changed, and then I was without a clean shirt. So I stole my husband's because he had two shirts on. He had his white shirt underneath his overshirt, and so I stole his overshirt. And it was an experience and taught me a lesson. Alicia, you were already bigger. You were already in panties and everything. Never spit up all over me like that. And then this one did. Little sister did it, Alicia, and I was a mess. Hey, I, my, I, 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 I know when you were little. Yeah, okay, thank you for the bottle, baby. Yeah. Evangeline, yes, you may have the bottle. So now, mommies and daddies, again, this bag nation bag was just fantastic. Lots of pockets. It comes over here with a nice little extra hook if you're going to hook something on it. And then lots of inside pockets, as you can see, on the inside here. here. Now, what I want to warn you all, as you can see, I have a whole lot of stuff here in front of me, and I did weigh this. It was already almost 10 pounds. You can definitely put a lot of stuff in here, but I don't know how long you'd be out and about wanting to carry 10 pounds on your back maybe a baby on the hip and so forth. So definitely use your judgment. Leave things in a bag, in the car if you need it, just so it's there and available to you. Just safety first. It's always one of the good idea to put stuff under the chair, right? Under the seat. Don't make people think that, oh, you got valuables in there and I'm going to want to break into your car and take it. It is just a couple of t-shirts for mom and dad or something. So try and tuck things into your trunk. If you got a sealed closed lid trunk under your chairs, keep it safe. Again, we did love this bag, Nation bag. Lessons learned. Change of shirts for mommy and daddy. This little hook we got for $3 and change just helped out so much whenever we were out and about in public. And I could just hook this on the stall door in the bathroom when I was changing their diapers. It made things so much more manageable. And these command hooks I'm expecting could probably work when that metal hook couldn't. So girlies, come over here, babies. Come here. At least you have Angeline over here. I want y'all to say bye-bye to everybody and good luck with changing your diapers with your babies. Say good luck, everybody. 
So you can do it. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good girl. Thank you. And good luck, mommies and daddies. And again, find the bag that works for you. Don't try and make one work if you're finding out it doesn't. It just makes it so much more stressful. Find something that works for you. And this one definitely worked for us a lot better than the over-the-shoulder bag. Okay. Bye-bye.